Greetings again, everybody out there. We've got something brand new to talk about today. Google Plus login across the web. Uh, let me explain what that means easily, and then I'll get in a little more detail with my friend Jesse Widillo. When you go to somebody's website out there on the web, many times when you are not already set up with that website, they ask you to give them a login. You know, sign up here, whatever, or use your Facebook login. Well, now we're going to be able to have the ability to also click on that nice red button that'll say Google Plus. Use your Google Plus login. Is that about right, Jesse? That is correct. Basically, what Vic introduced this morning for anybody who has not been on Google Plus all day today or is coming from another medium, Vic released that Google is offering a login with Google Plus to specific websites. They're doing a launch today. Some of the websites are thefancy.com, usatoday.com. The Guardian, Fitbit, Flickster. Now, I've been doing my research, and what I've seen is the only two that you can do it with right now are the fancy.com and opentable.com. And it's really cool. It's an awesome feature. It's, it's very similar to you know the old Facebook and Twitter, but it's much more secure in that anything you decide to do, you have to opt in for your stream to see. So it's not automatically updated if you go to the fancy.com and you fancy something that you want to buy, which is the basis of the fancy.com. It doesn't automatically show your stream everything you have fancied because that's not what Google Plus is all about. It's more about sharing what you want to share. So that's a little bit about this privacy thing that Vic is saying, you know, keeping you private and protected. And that brings us back to a lot of times in the past people would compare Facebook and Google Plus. They talk about the numbers. And a lot of times I have to try to point out to people that in Google Plus, the default action is private. Unless you, potent, you know, purposely share something publicly, you're going to be sharing it with private limited circles and things. Whereas the default action in Facebook is public. And so just by default, if you get my, my, fa my fancy with that, um, that means there's going to be more visible activity going on with Facebook, even though there may actually be more real activity going on in Google Plus. It may not be visible because of Google Plus's perspective that most things should start private until you purposely open it up to the public. And so this is the same kind of thing. And just for the record, today is February 26, 2013. This is the first day of the announcement. Is that right, Jesse? That is correct. It literally this morning at about 11 o'clock, it was announced and we're just at 5 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast starting to see these major websites roll it out. And I've played with the fancy one for about 30 minutes and basically you have the opportunity to invite your friends. It's like just like Google Plus when you log in, you see your little avatar picture in the upper right. It's the same way. You can click on your picture. You can do a lot of the same features you can do on Google Plus. This is all based on their website with the fancy.com. Each website's going to be a little different. I think they've done an amazing job. You can invite friends individually. You can invite circles. You can tell circles what you've done. You can privately say what you've done. It's If you've ever done a Google Plus local review, it's very similar to that. Anything you decide to do on the fancy, it asks you if you want an opportunity to share it with your friends, but you don't have to. And you can change that default setting as soon as you OK the app. When you sign up through the fancy that you will allow the app through your Google Plus profile, you can say, do you want stuff to share to a certain circle or do you want it to be private? And of course, I selected private, but that's an opportunity you have at every step, which like you said, is very different from Facebook. So for, for those of us that are potentially either moving over or away from Facebook activity, we could more likely actually abandon that Facebook account if we needed to or felt like we wanted to without worrying about I got to use it to log in or I got to give all this information over and over again. So the ease of logging in using a social network like Google Plus is really helpful, but you've got that added benefit of the privacy element and the circle sharing if people can understand what the circles mean. Yeah, and, the, uh, and I will say this to a lot of people, it's still very, very early. Yeah, it's so, the first, yeah, first you know, There's five websites with it right now. We're not shattering the internet today, but it is a great step because it's showing that Google Plus is reaching out to third-party websites as far as, and I think this is coming, it's not released yet, but I think comments are coming. Third-party comments 
through Google+, Plus. meaning when you go on to Huffington Post or CNN or Fox News or whatever website you go to, to to discuss things, you will be able to then log in with your Google Plus profile, make a comment, and people can connect with you through your Google Plus profile rather than having to do the Facebook and Twitter thing. Now that's a prediction, right? That's not something that's just happened today, right? That is correct, but in the API, <laughs> there is a section for comments, but those comments are third-party comments, so that means that they are just comments within another website. It's not going back and forth to your Google Plus profile. So when you comment on a third-party website, that comment is not going to come back and show up on Google Plus, which is very important because everything we do outside of Google Plus, we probably don't want our stream to see, and once again, the privacy issue there is, is what we're looking for. Cool. So um, this is actually a big deal, even though it may not roll out as quickly as everybody wants. Um, but once it does start showing up, you're going to have a blue button and a red button, and you can take the blue pill or the red pill. Right? Which was the good one? I don't remember. Uh, and, uh, from the <laughs> funny, funny enough, Ronnie, Google is pushing the hashtag "Take the Red Pill." Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they really are. I'm not even kidding you. They are really the hashtag "Take the Red Pill" is what Google employees are pushing. So, if you want to talk about this, if you want to ask us questions, if you want to comment on YouTube, wherever. Hashtag take the blue, take the red pill is what Google <laughs> really and this this is what's amazing about Google Plus that concept was thought up of by a Google Plus user it wasn't something that Google came up and Google took that ran with it I'm sure they are giving credit to that user I know a couple users that used it I'm not going to say names but I think I know who was the first person with the idea of take the red pill but that just shows how. Google is listening to its user base. They really are on key with, with what the users are looking for. So I think the line was, and I'm sure I'll get corrected if it's not, but take the red pill and we'll see how far that rabbit trail goes, or that rabbit hole goes, how deep the, ha the hole goes, something like that. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for uh, the update. Um, I love this breaking new stuff. And just as a little uh, quick reminder, a week from now, we are going to do our third month review of the Google Plus communities. That was something that Jesse uh, broke three months ago, yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah. like to the day almost. Uh, so this is some cool stuff. It keeps on coming. Circle him, circle me, and circle other people that help you figure out what's going on because it's not going to slow down as far as I can tell. Agreed. Thanks, Ronnie. Okay, thanks. We'll see you guys later. We're going to post this out there, and uh, feel free to ask us questions. We will try our best to answer. Bye now. Bye.